<laughs> good uh, evening or whatever time of day it is, everyone who's watching this video. Um, just wanted to make a example for the tracing uh, assignment to sort of show you some of the ways that um, you can trace objects in AutoCAD. Um, before we start, I'm just going to close this ribbon up the top here um, because I don't use it most of the time in drafting. And throughout the um, the course, I'm going to be encouraging you to use commands more than the ribbon. So to close it, the command is just ribbon close, and now I've got a bit more drawing space to work with. Uh, before I grab a picture, I'm just going to go on to Google and then grab one, but um, I want to make a new layer for the uh, picture to go on. So I can open the layer menu with the command layer, and it pops up here, um, taking up a lot of the screen again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this grey part on the left, and drag it hard against the left of the screen. Now the layer properties manager is going to sit up there. And you can set it to auto hide with the little box, so it will hide away and pop up when we mouse over it. So this is the button to create a new layer. Um, I'm just going to call it picture, because that's what I'm going to put the picture on. Notice this little tick is on layer 0 at the moment. If I move that down to picture, it means my current layer is picture. So when I get my image, it's going to go on there. Um, Right, I need an image. Uh, I'm going to trace a Pokemon because uh, it's going to have nice, here we go, this is the one, nice hard edges. Um, I don't have to think about what lines to trace. You could easily trace, uh, you know, like a car of some description. Um, if you wanted to go around and trace the edges of that, that'd be good. A um, bit more challenging. Obviously, you've got to pick out which lines you want to trace and which are going to remain flat. But um, the reason I'm going for this one is because all the hard work's done for me. Uh, so I can just, um, oh, what's public picture? I can just right click copy this image. And when I go back to AutoCAD, I can control V, paste it in, and scale it down here. Okay, so now the picture is in CAD. I don't want that picture to move when I'm using commands, I don't want to accidentally delete it or anything like that. So I can go over to the layer that the, um, the picture is on, and I'll just lock it. You can see the edges of the layer have become locked. If I try to move it or anything, it, it, the AutoCAD won't let me select any of that object. So I'll make a new layer for the trace. Um, because trace was underneath the picture, it, it's been locked to start with, so I'll just make sure I unlock that. And to make it more visible, so that I can see this trace as I'm doing it, I'm going to make it some ridiculously fluorescent pink colour, like that. Yellow or probably red would work here as well, because there isn't much red in that picture. But most of the time, just something that you're going to, it's going to be really easy to see. Okay, so I'm on the right layer, and now I can go in and start tracing. I'm just going to trace this object with lines, so the command to draw a line is L for line. You can type out the whole line if you want, it does the same thing, put a few lines around. Um, but just L works just as well. And I prefer to use spacebar rather than enter to confirm the command. Alright, where should I start? Here looks like a good spot. So I'm just kind of clicking about, um, getting these points nice and aligned. In this case, I want the line I'm currently on, I want that to go right up to the hard edge of this other shape. So I'm going to click past it, and then I'm going to make sure that we've got a neat intersection there with trim. So trim can be used to cut off one shape. I'm going to use this line here to cut this line. So I'll do that again just so you can see. So TR will bring up trim. I'm selecting first the line that I want to use for the cutting edge. Then I hit space bar once I've selected that. And now I select the object that I want to trim, which is that one. Okay, now I also want to start my next line from this exact point there. Um, if I don't have, I'll just turn a few of these little things off here. If I don't have any of these tools on, then I, I can I can try and zoom right into the end of that line and it's a bit of a, bit of a pain. It doesn't really help me much. But if I use object snapping, this little button here, turning object snapping on, I can snap when the green little square comes up, I snap to the end of that corner. And now I'm able to get a nice precise edge. Um, so I just keep going with this sort of method. Um, I'm going to come back and trim that line in just a second. I'm just going to build up a few trims before I do that. So I'll go around 
two bridges. With warp object snapping on, you can see even though I'm not on a snap point, I'm near the edge, this square is popping up over there anyway. So you've got to make sure that you get some distance away. If I click here, it'll snap over there. I don't want to go here somewhere. Now I can again use trim. Select these lines as cutting edges. I want to get rid of that edge. Get rid of that edge. Okay, looking nice and neat. So I can see I'm starting to trace out this edge. We can see how things are coming along by going over to layers and I'll turn off picture, which I think was this layer. I can't really see it yet. So I can turn off picture. You can see I've got a few lines coming in here. They're all neat, touching their edges. Okay. Um, what else can we do? So th that's for the, the jagged lines. I'm not going to trace every line in this picture. Um, if you're doing the jagged lines, that's how you do it. For a curvy line, if you want to trace, say, the um, let's do this leg or something down here, that would be you could do this with a spline. Um, so SPL is all you need to enter the command spline. And this command does take a bit of practice to use, but once you get the, the hang of it, you more or less just click along various points on the shape that you're tracing. When you come to a sharp curve, you click closer together to get a better definition of where you're clicking. And you can also trim a line. So again, I've, I've come a bit further over on this toe, but that's going to be fine once I um, I come to trim that, that edge off, I won't have any problems with that. Oops. So I accidentally snapped onto there. I didn't do that. Oh, when, when I made that mistake as well, I accidentally snapped on, not intending to. I thought, oh, I want to keep going up here. If I just hit Control Z, it moves back to the last point where I was at, and I can keep tracing around. So if you want to see how a particular snap goes, you might even... Um, so if I can this snap on. Okay, so starting a new spline. Um, let's say I wanted to get around this face. So I might come along here and I could be thinking, oh, what happens if I click out on this edge and do that point and this point, see if I get a nice smooth curve. Oh no, once I get to here, that, that puts these areas out. Now, so I'll do that, I'll come back. Just seeing like if, if it's going to work out, if things are going to go the way you imagine they should. If you make a mistake, you can just undo, keep going. So it's important when you're using AutoCAD to have one hand on the keyboard, centered in the gamer sort of setup really, centered on WASD, W A S D. You can use your little finger to hit Control Z, a little finger and um, index finger to hit Control Z if you need to. Um, your thumb can hit spacebar when you're finished with a command. Um, you can quickly type in a lot of the commands with your left hand while your other hand's on the mouse. So T R is very easy, like for trim. Very easy to hit that just with the one hand. Um, L, yeah, you've got to move your hand halfway across the keyboard, but it's only one letter. You can do that easy enough with one hand. Even SPL, with a bit of practice, it's not hard to use one hand to hit that. And you can keep tracing around that. So this is more or less how it's done. Um, I might skip forward in the video and you can see the finished product. Okay, so I'm pretty much done now. <clears throat> I've traced the majority of the lines, and now I'm just checking to make sure that I haven't missed any of the intersections. Make sure that all these little joins and everything have been trimmed off correctly. Um, I can't see any that I've missed, but there's bound to be one or two. You always tend to overlook them. What I'm looking for in this assignment isn't so much uh, you know, an incredibly detailed drawing or, or any demonstration of brilliant artistic skill. Um, Mainly, I just want to see that you're able to use object snapping to get points to be right on top of each other, um, and trim to see that you've got these lines over, and just basically force you to use CAD a bit, spend a bit of time in the program, getting to learn the way it works. Um, so once I've got that there, I can go back to my color. Where is it? Yeah, the color of the tracing. Change it back to white. Yeah, it's more or less the finished product. Um, if you're feeling you know, particularly brave, you could trace these lighter, darker lines as well, and you could put hatch patterns in the um, like in this dark part of the cheek. But I'm not going to do that, and um, don't expect you to either. Like I said, it's mostly just about getting a bit of experience with CAD, um, finding out the faster ways to do things, and and most importantly, trying to keep one hand on the mouse and one hand on the keyboard. Like I've turned the ribbon off 
all of this tutorial to show that you really don't need it. If I had the ribbon on, not only does it take up a lot of my space when I'm drawing things, but to constantly go back to, okay, I want a line, put a line between here and here, um, okay, that's that's good, I'll go back and draw, what else do I need now? I need a, a curvy line, there's a spline, but it, it's, it just, it's too slow. You really don't need the ribbon on, you can just say L for line, SPL for spline, TR for trim, those are all the commands you really need. Um, okay, if you have any questions about that, uh, don't hesitate to email me or ask me in class. Uh, best of luck and um, good tracings.